What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, the lovable asshole, coming to you with another video. And on this particular video, I'm going to be interviewing yours truly, the golden boy. One How you guys stars doing? From the Come Up Miami. How you doing, baby? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm recovering. I'm. I, I can say I'm blessed during a pandemic. Um, you know, God has keep, kept me on track, so. I and say, that's why I can say I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> you was having a very hot boy summer out there. Yeah, I need to. I need this is my savage year, and just so happened I happened to be filming the show during like you know my fun year, new city. So mm -hmm. I'm here for it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now you know. This is going to be very much fun. This is very going to be very much light. We are going to throw a little bit of fun shade. But oh, I'm definitely throwing be... some fun shade. It's fun shade. Yes. shade. yes, it's going to be good and fun. It's nothing nasty, nothing um, malicious, mm -hmm. nothing like that. No malice. It's, it's a little fun shade. About. I got some fun shade thrown at me, so I can return the favor. Good, good. Now, um, so let's get into the questioning. Are you okay? You good? You good? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready All to right, explain good. everything. All right, good. My first question, how did you get picked to be on this um, season um, to come up Miami? How did you get picked? Well, um, I know somebody, I was going to actually go for the come up New York. Mm -hmm. And because I'm close. And I have had situations in New York, which we can touch on later on. But I've had a very fortunate situation in New York, and um, I was going to just go there, but I uh, never wanted to be watched over, so I was like, dang, I'm not going to make the New York one, and I was just already moving to Miami at the time. So mm -hmm. when I was going to Miami, um, I became a supporter of the show, because, you know, fan can be used very loosely sometimes, but I became a, su a supporter of the show, um, and I know someone prior to, that's one of the New York has, mm -hmm. and uh, I was like, I would just be like, you know, I would like to display and, you know, showcase. So I had contact Karan. I liked how he, you know, filmed everything. Because I know it's hard for me to do a lot of the editing and things like that. So it's like to be consistent with it, I'm going to give you that much respect with it. And I looked at it as like, you know, I need help with my YouTube. So I was like, why not, you know, audition and see what, what happens? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I thought all hope was lost. And I was going to just go go ahead with my own YouTube. And then they were saying the Miami season was coming. So I said, oh, well, I'll just do for that. And it's a way for me to meet other individuals because I like to get to know people. So I'm going to meet other people, you know, within my city, uh -huh. especially within the gay community, I can meet some people. So we can help each other out. And I'm oh. a new face. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. cool. What made you what made you join? What made you join? You were just a supporter of the show, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's all. Okay. Oh, so no, oh, no, what made me join was um the per like the production, like I said, I don't know how to do uh cameras and I don't know how to do that. So I feel like if I join a series, that's something I can learn along the way. I like to learn from mm -hmm. things and pick up tasks as I go. So when I'm doing my YouTube, I can see how this is promoted or you know, um, and I also felt like I could bring something different to the franchise. Okay. <clears throat> okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, what's, in your opinion, what's going to set the Miami season from the Atlanta and the New York season? Okay. Um, what's going to set the Miami season away from, you know, Atlanta and New York is, mm -hmm. I would say, it's just location. It's, um location it's a beautiful city a beautiful city and i feel like the just because it's like you know a beautiful city it mm -hmm. it's easy for the cameras to catch all the beauty you know and the things that mm -hmm. happen once the film is start like the nightlife um because you know people think of miami as like a vacation spot so mm -hmm. that's what says aside because that's actually like where you go vacation i mean atlanta new york you do go vacation but when people think about like you know a getaway, they're thinking, you know, I want to go to the beach. I want to go to Miami. That's the first thing that roll off their tongue. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that sets it aside, the fact that it's a beautiful place. And, yeah, it's a beautiful place. I will film there all the time. Okay, cool, cool. So now um, we're going to get more in-depth 
into who the golden boy is. Yeah. So get ready. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Golden boy. What was the last expensive item you purchased? Uh, she's actually right here. <laughs> I love Can her. You it's, see? Um, it's something that I'm going to do an unboxing on and I need to, but it's my YSL. Oh, that's fabulous. Big, um, I felt like I need to treat myself towards something because I work hard. Mm -hmm. No matter how you work, and I've learned a lot. So I, I did this, and the thing is, it, I didn't just get this, get, get this, and was just selfish. You know, I help people out along the way. I even treat my mom. That's what's up. That's what's up. Listen, you know, you only get one mother. So yeah, and, I, and I'm learning one. as I get older. You know, like uh, if you're able to do it, I say, I say this all the time. When people struggle, you feel everything when you're at your lowest. So when you're at your highest, you want to feel everything too. And if you're able to, you know, do it and able to bless others too, then why not? Okay, good, good, good answer, good answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear that. Okay, next question. What advice would you give to somebody um, who... What advice would you give to someone who wants to pursue a career in fashion, in the fashion industry? Okay, um, that's perfect. Uh, you, I always contemplate in my head, am I supposed to do this way? Am I supposed to be a vessel? Are you even supposed to do wardrobe styling? Are you just meant to, are you just meant to be stylish and have a regular job or a career? Mm -hmm. And I know what fills my soul up is helping somebody with an outfit or a look or doing the best that I can. The thing I can get to someone else as far as um, with styling, I want people to have their own individual style. You know, mm -hmm. it might be trends going on. Like I said, for this crazy hat, whatever. Like, I'm like, damn, I ordered it. And I'm like, do I really like it? But I'm going to put it on because I like the dress and theme. And it's a, it's a character. I want people to stick to their style. If you're emo, if it's gothic, if it's camp, okay, mm -hmm. if it's gaudy. You know, give me your best gaudy. Give me your best emo. You mm -hmm. know, because it has to be a lane for everybody. The percentages of the lanes that's out there, it might be some smaller than others, but the lanes still exist. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I want uh, them to stay true to their their ideal style. Okay, okay. And then fix the aesthetic. Work on it. <clears throat> okay. That brings me to my next question. What tips can you give someone that with a lack um, with a lack of fashion knowledge? What tips can you mm -hmm. give somebody with a, a lack of fashion knowledge? Oh, that's easy. So someone who has a lack of fashion knowledge, they they will know the simple things. I like this. Okay, this is a good one. They'll know the simple things. Like, you know you know what, what you like to show off on your own body. I don't have an ass, but if you got asses, it, it all be a part of the aesthetic. So some girls might say, well, I don't like my boobs, but I got nice legs. Okay, well, wear a halter top dress. Make sure there's a slit there, honey, to show that nasty leg. You know what I'm saying? So yes. highlight the features that you feel like is your everything, you know, mm -hmm. and always push that out because that's what brings it all together. So whatever that person think is their strength point, you highlight that until you get some fashion sense and you want to become a fashion person. You don't got to be a fashionable person to have your look together, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, how can you make someone look good in a trash bag? Because um, I watched the trailer, and yes. you, when you were sashaying, you was yes. like, listen, you look, I could um, make a trash bag look good. So I was like, how, how can the golden boy mm -hmm. make someone look good in the trash bag? Okay, well, the reason being is because people don't think that you can do nothing with the trash bag. So I'm actually stick to the trash bag specifically. <laughs> So if I had a trash bag, because I'm a crafty person, I was like, I'm a crafty bitch, but mm -hmm. not being crafty, I'm very creative, and my friends who know me know that I am. I will work, a, I will, it could be anything, but let's say, for instance, if I had this trash bag, right, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. a girl wanted to wear the dress, I would take it, I'll put it around her, probably make it like a nice halter top, give her some ruching, you play off that, that latex plastic effect, you mm -hmm. feel me? Then I would see what's up with her hair, so I can separate the two. Because if the trash bag is going to be this, I'm definitely going to turn it into a dress. I'm only working about, you know, heavy duty, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I'll probably give her a high ponytail, accentuate the face, a nice simple heel. Everything don't even have to be expensive. We can go to the hair store, 
trash bag here, okay? Mm-hmm. And it won't like a trash bag. It'll be put together nicely, though. Mm-hmm. It'll be like a little halt situation. Dangling earrings. You break it up with a nice high ponytail. Simple. Simple stuff. And then you just give her a nice black heel. And maybe a clutch, and she she could be good. And that's for all body sizes. We don't say a halter because a girl's going to be insecure about showing cleavage, about showing leg, about showing thighs. So you can cinch that in for them. You can mm-hmm. cinch it in. So that's the thing on a trash bag. I was just displaying how creative I am. And when I do work with my clients, when I do work with people, I'm cheering them on in a process. Mm-hmm. So it was really a confident statement, you know, because some <laughs> people who do need help with style, they, I deal with some people and they can't really, and I know I'm hard putting ideas together on myself, mm-hmm. but some people just need direction or they just need that guidance or they just need somebody there to help them think their idea out. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Listen. You fashion houses, trash bag fashions coming near you. Y'all will be gagged. Yeah. Y'all will be gagged. Okay. Okay. Oh, and guess, and to add on to that, it also will be water resistant. You know, it just slides right off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Um, now, your real name is Javier. No. Am I right? Javier? Mm-mm. It's um my bro name is Jovier. Jovier, the black way. No, I was practicing. I was like, I thought I had it. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm used to it. So, I'm used to it. So Javier. Jovier. Jo. Mm-hmm. You know what? Don't. <laughs> I messed up um the singer dude name three times. Jamarcus. I will get it right. Jamarcus. I call him Jatavi. Jatavi like three times mm-hmm. but the thing is like, but, I, i'm an understanding of it yeah i'm understanding of it so jovier yes mm-hmm. jo- okay jovier 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 jo- jo- mm-hmm. okay now uh who is jovier aka the golden boy okay and second part wait second part to that question is uh where did the golden boy name originate from Okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> Jovier and the Golden Boy are two different people. And I'm going to say that because I don't think I can fit them all into one. Uh, Jovier is, I'm a tree hugger at heart. Uh, Jovier is the person that my friends get to know. And if you don't judge me from the outside, you can get to know him too. Or you'll just get the Golden Boy. And you can stay at the Golden Boy and watch from afar. So, okay. um, <clears throat> Jovier, I'm a tree hugger. I like to do boyish things too. Like, I grew up with a brother, like, so I know, like, is it, you know what I'm saying? I'm right now, I'm grooming myself into being more of the golden boy and marketing it. But mm-hmm. Jovier is the understanding person. He's emotional. He's the friend supporter. He's the uh, always having a good sense of humor. You know, I'm always trying to be creative. I'm always trying to do ideas. I'm always trying to think of new things to uh, bring to the forefront, new ways of income, mm-hmm. meeting more people. Um, the golden boy, how that originated is I dyed my hair blonde one time and I really, which is so funny, excuse me. I don't even like my hair blonde like that all the time. I don't, <laughs> but my friends love me in. And I was like, if my bald head ass go bald from bleaching it so much, <laughs> I might as well get some coin off of it. Mm-hmm. And over the years, a lot of people told me that I seem to slide past the radar with it. Like if you see me in person, like you just think that like, you know, my hair has always been blonde. Or, like, you know, I, I, I can, like, kind of slide past the radar with it. Whereas, though, it's like, oh, his hair's blonde. He's burning that out. He needs to go back to black. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, actually, that, that originated from that. I just thought one day, you know, golden boy. Because it really came from, I said, uh, my hair can be black, but the box is still going to be golden. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is the golden boy, it really started from a, a sexual uh, joke. And I always says that, what would I call my friend down there? And I always says, it's always going to be a golden slice. So I always tell my friends, you know, that's my intro or my thing. Welcome to the golden room. This is the golden boy. Right now you're having the golden slice. So it started as like a sexual joke, but I stand by that. I get no complaints. <laughs> and then the listen, hair fell through. Listen, that that slogan is everything. Yeah, that's my come through. That's, when I start my beginning. Mm, you like that? Everything. Oh. I'm a fan. I subscribe. Yes, <laughs> I yes. Subscribe. 
<laughs> yes. Okay. Um, my next question is, and this is, um, what are the Golden Boy top two pet peeves? Oh, okay. Because I'm a Libra. My birthday's in October, and I know people meet bad astrology and signs of people, but I know some people might, might meet Libras. They might not be violent. That's why it takes everybody needs a little self grooming so they can be their true selves. Mm-hmm. Um, my two top pet peeves are when someone's not trying to understand me or when I'm not being understood. Because I feel like I approach every situation trying to see from your point of view and willing to have a conversation. But then if you're just trying to get your point across, we're not going anywhere with this. Mm-hmm. You got to be open when you come into something, especially when you have a conversation with me. You know? Mm-hmm. So uh, that's one. And my second one is um, <clears throat> ju- judgment. People who judge. I learned a lot, but mm. no, people don't need people to uh, judge them because, you know, I've met a lot of people, like you said, you know, just, just as far as just judging people, people don't notice sometimes they're being judgy, but mm. it's like, you know, like I said, it goes back to the first thing. You got to be open to wanting to understand the other person. So I would say that. I, I totally agree. Cause um, listen, I think uh, on human nature, we can all judge. Yeah. But it's, it's getting to know that person's story and getting to know mm-hmm. them. They'll probably probably come from that situation like, wow, he's that person probably a dope dude. And probably yeah. could put you on to something <clears throat> so more vast that And you then you're missing the connection, too. You know? Yes. It's That's like true. you can possibly be cool with this person, but you come off, you know, or you might have came on or you know, people forget when you try to get to know other people, it's not just you in the room. Mm-hmm. You know, but I mean, it's okay though. Well, I did hear that this particular season is going to be a lot of judgment. I feel like there's more judging to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, while we get to that, well, while we wait for that, a next question. Okay, uh, where are we at? How do you feel about the lack of um, the lack of diversity in, within the fashion, the high fashion magazine? Okay, within on a uh, high fashion magazine. No, uh, now you know my little my little dumbass. Can you break it down for me just a little bit more? Oh, okay. How do you feel about the lack of diversity, like the lack of um, you know, African American black? Um, mm. The first one, a high fashion magazine like Vogue, and, right? And, um, like the big, okay, so big high fashion yes, I feel like because I've never answered this question before. I feel like it's I'm an all lovers kind of person, but we gonna you know get we gonna stay with the black people. I'm gonna come for my black people first because I am black. So yes. um one, I feel like it's it's not right. We should we should have way more. And I feel like they think they're making the effort of <clears throat> getting us in there. But you talking about like as far as like main features, mm. main features, like, like we're beautiful people. And I do feel like some people do want to help, but they, it's the convincing of the people around them as well. Mm. So I do feel like we need more of a platform where we can be on high fashion magazines and not just give off the, you know, in the how I feel, not just mm-hmm. give off the, the not, I want to say African look. But they go for more of the Ethiopian, African, like, because they, they have, like, you know, gorgeous dark skin. And I actually mm-hmm. want them, like I said, they play us against each other, too, because I feel like, if you notice the fashion industry, yeah, you do have a lot of models who are light skin. They go for probably light skin. I'm mm-hmm. brown skin. I don't really know. I got to educate myself some more of models who should be up there as brown skin, too. And then that's mm-hmm. why I love my chocolate people, but they get that light as well. We got a lot of pop models who are chocolate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we need just a little bit more. I think that they're trying, but it should be a little bit more. And if they're going to do the black, they should break it down and give us a good Hispanic, a good, you know, uh, Thai person, Cambodian. They should start displaying all of those. And yeah. I feel like they display what they think is trendy. Yeah. As far and- as skin color. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. even, you know, uh, with Albino and the Big Largo people, it's like, I I love them. They're all beautiful people, too. Mm-hmm. But they get in their shine in, too. And it's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? It's because their skin or it's because they look a model. 
Mm-hmm. You know? And you and to mm-hmm. add on to that, because I like to add on when I'm doing yeah. interviews. Um, to add on, I would really like to see somebody of a bigger stature, like a plus stature, to be on those high fashion models because yes, I really, they I, should. Yeah, like I feel like there's a lot of um in my case as men, as a male, um, there's a very huge lack in the big big and tall community. Yes. Uh, in fact, and I follow yes. a lot of big and big and tall influencers and, and I love my thick they boys. are yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. I love my thick boys and I do feel like what you mean by that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But listen, our time is gonna um our time is going to come because listen oh, and it's coming TikTok soon. save lives. Okay? And, and, it's, and, and, and it's coming soon too because I feel like if it exists, put it on up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, thick thighs, thick thighs save lives. Save lives. Okay. Yes. And I and, yes. I and I heard uh and I heard it they, they like them thick. They heard I heard they got the best pussy yours too. Listen. I'll give credit where it's due. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh-huh. Save lives. I'm just, yeah. I'm just I'm saying. Just saying. Look, they're, 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 I'm just saying. They're I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Come on, you gotta take me. You gonna take me out? You gonna take I, me I out can, of my? But see, that's how the thing is. That's how when people get to know my personality, I'm I tend to be that blunt. I can get right into that conversation with you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, that's it. That's not stray off, but you feel what I'm saying. You see what I'm, you see I what feel I'm feeling. What you're saying. Cause listen, I could get into that conversation too. I love that conversation. And listen, even though I have, do have men, I have a man. And he have. also is a Libra as well. He's also a Libra. Oh, really? Yes, he's also a Libra. Okay. <laughs> he's also a Libra. Ooh. But let's 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 let's. Let's get back on track. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to All it. Right. Yes. <laughs> we keep kicking real good. You are a good fucking time. I'll tell you not. Okay. Uh, uh, next question. What most excites the Golden Boy? Um, what excites me the most is uh, a good a good time. No, fa- like a ooh moment. Like, <clears throat> how can I say this? A good time, but not like a good time like that, like like a photo shoot or like a video shoot or like um my clip that they had in the in, in my in my preview. I was supposed to film that clip when I made my video. That was that was a video I was doing for my intro for my YouTube, and mm-hmm. that was fun because I like to be in theme. I can be as fierce as I want to be. I can give all the looks mm-hmm. that I want to do. I can you know pump, walk, give the faces I want to give that, you know, for my video that, you know, people do nobody's around. I like the stuff that you do when nobody's around because that's when you're at your most comfortable and your most mm-hmm. confident, but it, it, only if you know it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. A hidden now, thing. Another question, another question I had regarding the trailer. Um, I was, and I said this in my review, in my re- uh, reaction to the, the official trailer. Everybody, go back to see that video. Yeah. Um, that I uh, did a reaction on of the Come of Miami official yeah. trailer. Now, you said something that kind of like, what the hell is that? Now, right. this term trigger baby. Trigger baby. Now, I've heard, huh? Trigger baby, right? Trigger baby, yes. Right. Now I've heard of trigger happy, but I've never heard of trigger baby. No, Can no. You sh- break that. Sugar, sugar. Oh, you said sugar. I thought you said trigger baby. Oh, okay. Because mm-hmm. that was one of that's on my note. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know, I think I'm blind. And it's okay. It's like, <laughs> all right. I said so, so fast. It was like clip. Yeah. So we're gonna pay that question. Okay, cool. Um, what can the viewers expect from you this season? No, I mean I can explain the whole sugar baby thing. Oh, okay. So um, I'm open with what explaining you mean it. about the sugar baby. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so um, with that being said, it's like me. I like to date older. I'm an old soul. 
And it's not the fact that, oh, well, the thing is, I was dating somebody who was older, and that's the term that people use for it. But maybe what if that's your preference of person? So I just call it by the term. One, I own everything about everything. And I said, was. That's what people get confused. So Mm -hmm. I own everything about everything I go through and the people, you know, and the thing is, as many ways you can for yourself. I said, use it while I was young and tight. And with that being said, when I would date this person, I didn't really have to do as much, but I always worked. And, you know, that was a situation that we discussed um, uh, on the season because people, you know, just hear what they want to hear. They get the first part and they think about the last part. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, that's just basically what it is. I just basically just was upfront and honest about it because I'm a kind of person. I'm trying to be a little vulnerable and getting to know people with them and maybe bring some difference to them because some people think that, oh, you used to be a sugar baby, so you dated somebody who was 60. No, I mean, we have somebody on the cast who's 30, and that's older. They can be a day older than you, and it could be it's considered dating someone older. And we have someone 30 on the cast who's older. We don't consider that old as fuck. <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. So it, it's all about what it's mean to me. I'm 26. My... my person who I was dating probably was 30. Mm, that's that's my that's uh yeah I kind of get it yeah mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying you know yes. it probably was and what's what's old to you yeah my man is 30 yeah I'm, I'm yeah I'm 28 but you mm-hmm. know I call him an old man I call him an old man and you do terms like that mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying now I, I might have brought light to the word to some people people but i also get it how you gonna get it mm-hmm. if god bless you you bless others mm-hmm. you know what and I, this is where i'm gonna put my little two cents in with that mm-hmm. um i don't know why it's such a stigma of you know uh younger men and older men like long as we're all grown i I'm think happy. we should have fun and date who we want like just pretend mm-hmm. to me I can never see myself dating dating mm-hmm. an older man. Now right, right, having right. fun with them, yes, because yes, right. I don't. I do not like dealings, dealing, having dealings with somebody that's younger than me. That's me just either. and that's time. why me. I'm a person. I don't want to date somebody that's younger than me. It's just something I don't want to do. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, can you give me one uh one moment? I want to uh, go ahead and cut my ear off. Go for it. Real quick. Sorry, y'all. Now, guys, he could have he could have did this all before this. I'm that? sorry, y'all. Mm-hmm. The ring light get me a little hot. I'm trying to stay sexy for y'all. Always keep some bottle of water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, as I was saying, like I feel like we should just mm-hmm. mind your business. Okay, if I if I choose to share it, my like don't judge. Just accept right, and that's what I the said. thing. It's all about yeah, you know. Just, don't take mm-hmm. it and run with it, and then, and then yeah. it's just like, if I'm telling you or if we're in conversation, I'm just trying to let you guys know. Maybe you should ask me. Maybe you should ask me, and maybe that's something you might want to get into too. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to help. I'm asking you this because I know my reasons for not dating younger, um, younger mm-hmm. men. What is your reason for not dating um, younger men? Um, younger than you. Younger than you. I've tried, like, I've, I've tried, and I'm an old soul, and I feel like um, when it comes to communicating, mm-hmm. when it comes to communicating, and when it comes to having common sense, like, you know, say it be, it be times I've dated guys my age, and I used to work late, and I would get off work at around, like, 11, 12 o'clock. I don't get a text message like, oh, you sure you're good getting home or anything like that? Like, the consideration opposed mm-hmm. to if someone older has that mindset that's like, this is who I'm dating. I know he works late. Rather, I'm going to go get him or, you know, I'm going to make sure he's good because that's how I think. Mm-hmm. You know, we deal yeah. with each other. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's just as simple as that. Some people don't have that in their mind. And then, you know, gaze is hot and fresh. 
that's what we are. Yeah. We just hot and fresh. And I'm a, you know, I'm just sprinkling my little thing, my reason, mm-hmm. just so because we, we having a conversation. Mm-hmm. My reason for not dating younger men, I feel like because younger, we're gonna say this with uh, love, younger gays tends to when they're when they're no longer in contact with you, they want to expose you and put you on blast. Ah, uh, so and that's the end that's, it's negative. Like it, it's so, a has to part. Mm-hmm. Right. They feel like because you did them wrong, now they have to get back at you. That immature mentality. That's where maturity comes in. Like right. You so it's and like it can't be I like a conversation. Them. It can't be like you know, see you next Tuesday. You know, because mm-hmm. my feelings are hurt, or et cetera, whatever the case may be. And then you can just mm-hmm. go ahead and not deal with the person no more. But they mm-hmm. got to do some. I got you. Yes, so that's a lot of that's that. my, a lot of messiness. A lot of messiness, and that's and I wouldn't want my dingling to be on the internet. I don't have right. no news on the internet, no nothing. I I just don't do that with the messiness. Like, and then it's the involvement it, of the friends. Some people that date yeah. older, or when you know, even when you're getting close to our thirties, like you know how you understand. Like some people understand. Like, would I go through my relationship? Everything will I be disclosed to my friends. Mm-hmm. Or a grown man is not going to be posting on Instagram, uh, you know. I mean, some do. I ain't going, but they not be posting on Instagram, just like saying, "Oh, uh, yeah, because you want to do this," or you don't catch somebody like in their forties putting up some yeah. of their ex situation, mm-hmm. like you know, exposing them or dragging them through the mud. Because like, older men don't have time for that. They have other stuff to. They do. got images. They, they got grown stuff to do. Yes. So like, yes, that's, that's I feel you on that. I feel you on that because that is a lot that they do that. That's why I try to stay away from. Yeah. We see each other. <laughs> we see each other. Yes. Okay. Um what do you hope next question is what do you hope to gain from this experience? Well, I enter in, I entered in. I hope to gain and I'm making it like I wanted to gain meet a new uh black gay males in my area that we can you know help each other out and do things as far as different forms of life i wanted to gain that and i also want to gain more exposure for the things that i'm going to have coming because mm-hmm. i feel like and you know when people say are you really ready for success and if you ask yourself that question some people say that they are but they truly on the inside they're not so when i know i'm trying to go up in life and progress and i'm trying i'm trying to learn how to do the business things. I'm never trying to act like I'm, I know how to do something and I don't, you know? So if I'm tr- trying to, that's what we can help each other out with. <clears throat> so I basically want to gain more exposure and I, get, I definitely want to learn from the experience as well. You know, how certain things go. Uh, could this be a career path? You know, mm-hmm. I want to bring things, different stuff to the forefront. Okay, cool, cool. And you're definitely going to do that. Thank you. Because from just speaking with you, you are very, very smart. You don't come off like a dingbat. But I but I look like an airhead. But the thing is, that's when the judgment thing come in. Yeah, you, 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 you know what's so crazy? You have never came off like that to me. Oh, really? And even with, um, like, because... I, I see your snaps. Like, you're, you're yeah. like, I just feel like you're a fun time. Like, you're, like, when people are around you, people just want to have a great time with you. Good energy. And I bet you are a good conversationalist. Is that a word? It is now. It is, thank, <laughs> it is you. now. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, I got you. Yes. Because <laughs> sometimes I just be That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, That's how you oh, clock oh. it. Now yes. it is, yeah. But um, ooh, um, <laughs> we just fell out. <laughs> see, you got me high. See, I missed my thing. <laughs> but, but you have, you have always came across like that. Um, yeah. like you, you're a great time and you're a good conversationalist. That's a word. And um, yeah, you, you just a joy to be around. Like you, and that's how you I know? my friends, and that's why I want the other boys on the cast to get to know about me if they take the time out to. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully, 
you know, okay. with the upcoming, right. you know, since you going back there in a couple of weeks, mm-hmm. we going to see. More like but, next and, week. And that is my, that is my, um, that brings me to my next question. You know, while you're, um, cause you know, you know, y'all, y'all, um, production got, um, shooting got stopped, you know, due to COVID. Yeah. And now, you know, stuff is gradually opening back up. Slowly is trying. To, trying, right? So and y'all going back to filming within a couple of weeks, right? A couple of weeks? It should be yeah, within within the next week or so. We're gonna make the filming. Yeah. Okay, cool. Who are you not? Who are you who are you not looking forward to shooting with? Or yeah, filming with. Who am I not looking forward to filming with? Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm. Actually, I'm not looking. I'm not gonna say I'm not looking forward to filming with either one of the cast members because you know I'm pretty even straight across the board kind of person. Because mm-hmm. I actually want to go back and film with each and every one of them, like one on one, because I actually want to get to know them. Like I want to bring that to the show. You know, it don't matter what, you know, it kind of, you know, we got to get a chance to really all get to know each other again. Um, Because we start off on something and then, you know, COVID happened. And then it's like, you know, I don't want the connection to fail. Mm -hmm. So I do want to meet with each person individually so we can have, you know, conversations. We can, we can kiki, we can get to know what what we have going on. We can throw our little light fun shade and all the other stuff like that. But I mean, I'm pretty open. It wouldn't be like a nod. Okay, okay. Yeah. So now we're going to play two games of mine. Yes. Come on, games. Okay. Yes. So I want you to name one sweet and one sour thing about each cast member. And we're going to go down the line. I'm okay. start with something easy. Bam, bam. One sweet, one sour. Okay, so... And I'm so... And let me just keep it, G. I'm happy that... um. Cause like when I met him, like everything he's he's an uplifting person. He's a friends kind of person. He's like a friend, like be there for you, friend kind of person. But it's like you gotta get a chance to get to know people. You know what I'm saying? So I would say the sweet thing is that like he's really a sweetheart. He's like really a sweetheart. Like mm-hmm. you know, people might be intimidated. Mm-hmm. You never know. But he's really a sweetheart. I think he's like more of a sweetheart than I am. Cause I'm hard. I'm horrible, but, like, he's really, like, he, when he speaks, he has, like, a sweet, he cracks me up. (laughs) (laughs) He, yo, he's a good-ass time, and that's what I love about him. I don't have anything sour about him. The only sour thing is, um, I know that I need to answer my damn phone. (laughs) Yes, you do, and I was going to say that. Answer your goddamn phone for him. Yes, I need to. I hate that as well. I need to answer uh, my phone. It's just that in my head, good old Libra is like, I make everything I have to do all over the place and I'd be trying to. So I try to figure out new um, communication ways, whereas I can send voice memos or, you know, I can figure out how I can get in touch with everybody faster. That's just mm-hmm. something I got to work on for myself, but nothing sour. The sour okay. thing is, is, is me. <laughs> it's me. Okay. So, okay, we're going to let that slide. <laughs> uh, Jamar- Jamarcus, right? Mm-hmm. Jamarcus. Jamarcus, mm-hmm. one sweet and one sour. A sweet thing about Jamarcus is he's he's like he's very approachable. Like he's cool. You know, he's very approachable. He's cool. Like I met Jamarcus before I even started filming. We didn't even know we were on the same show. Mm-hmm. I met him when I first moved to Miami. Like my first week, I met him. And um he was fun then. He was cool then. So he was very cool then. Um, <clears throat> and their voice child. Okay? Their voice mm-hmm. is everything. Um, yeah. You probably see me screaming in the background of some of the videos. You'll catch a clip. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I would say uh, one sour thing is um, I'm, I'm, I'm sad me and him didn't film yet sooner. Like, me and him need to get a scene together. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I would love to do that. Like, like, sometimes my sour moments can be, like, I didn't get a chance to get to you, or I didn't, you know, or we get to each other, you know. Okay. hmm so, yeah. All right. Next one, Miles. Um, once we, I love the fact that he, uh, 
I love the fact that his free, like his type of his line of work as far as Ken Molly and stuff like that, he's on the same path with being a free person. I love that. It's like this is what it is. And I make a lot of damn money doing it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You will never know. You know, so I love the fact that Miles is open and free. Like he's really an open person. He's somebody that you can you could probably like go to if you want to do anything random or glam up or a- ASMR, eat some burritos or something. Like he's mm-hmm. he's yeah he's real he's real laid back and he's very pretty. To look at gorgeous. Well, a little sprinkle of my own tea. Got a little interview with him. Oh, you do. <laughs> Come on, Miles. He's a good time. And the and the thing is the stop not even the sour the sour thing is oh yeah okay this is a good one the sour thing is we be cracking up because you know uh I be cracking as soon you know as soon as Bam gets started you know what I'm saying as soon as he gets started my mouth's like don't do no <laughs> he's like Miles <laughs> but he's very much like mothering mother like very much like nurturing and Mother that's Teresa? what it is. Yes, yes, he's very nurturing. Yeah. Okay, I live for that. They're not too sour, but it's like, mm-hmm. like sometimes it could be like, all right, like, for Just instance, let it like, come with me. Come, yeah, yeah, that happened. Like, come with me to uh, go bust the windows off my boyfriend's car. Mm-hmm. You don't want to do that. You might not can't pay for the insurance. Nobody's thinking about that. About <laughs> you know. What I mean? like, <laughs> It's like, girl, just just come with me. Just okay? come. Just you will be the driver. You de- 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 yeah. designated. Just get the driver. We won't include you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Next one is Prince. Okay. Prince. Uh, one sweet thing about Prince is I love what he do. I love what he do. That's someone that I want to connect with. I've told him that, and I, I do want to shoot with him. I love the fact that um, I love people who are in heightened in the line, like in the ways in their brain that I'm not heightened in as far as like business and marketing and things like that. I don't understand it, but you could be a useful person in my life if you can shed some light on me about how to do that. Mm-hmm. So um, that's why I do that. I like people who, how can I say this? They look, they, they look intelligent. Like you could tell like he's like, you know, he's intelligent, like he knows what he's talking about and things like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, good, good. Look in our intelligence, yeah. Sour, one sour. Sour is that... How do I say this? I want to... I want to get to know him more. I would say that I don't think that we got a chance to get to know each other, at, you know, at all, really. You know, like, if, even for, like, in a group scene, um, he's more reserved. From, from what I experienced, he's more, like, reserved. And he just be chilling, for the most part. Mm-hmm. So it's like when we have all these dominant personalities, it's like, you know, I feel like that's why we need more one on one time mm-hmm. because that's how we'll connect because you got other personalities going on and it's easier for, I would say there are laid back ones. Miles and Prince is like more the laid back people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's like easy to kind of like be like, oh, snap, like you over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Um, next person is Sean Dion. Sean, um, one positive thing I would say about him is I love his energy. His energy, because I'm a high energy person too. Like, he's mm-hmm. ready to have a good time. I love the energy. It's like, oh, bitch, like, we about to be, I'm loud. So we about to be loud together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, once, if we, you know, like, once we get the chance to know each other some more, like, you know, and then he does YouTube, so I can come be loud over there. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I, lo- I love his energy. I do love his energy. <clears throat> I just subscribed to his channel. Mm-hmm. I gotta still get to that. Mm-hmm. Okay, one sour about Mr. Sean Dion. Um, I would say alcohol. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I would say I would say al- alcohol. Uh, sometimes people get sometimes people drink to have a good time and not to get drunk. If it makes sense, because I haven't been around them enough to you know, but I would say pretty much alcohol because that's how to you know. First, he, it brings passion. a lot of demons. It does. It it just uh it makes you probably act a little more than you you might not think. That's how you were acting. Oh, okay, okay. You know, so that's I, how I that's say. how I'm with Henny. Listen, that's why I stay yeah. away from the Henny because or at least listen, not too much drinking while filming. Yeah. Right. Because listen, me and Henny, I will fuck up this whole house. 
But see, but see, that's all I was saying. Like as far as you know, like when uh you know uh other shows that love hip hop and you see other people saying like, oh, don't drink too, and that start to get real. It's really like that because you got to pay attention as well because you're still working. So mm-hmm. it's still you won't be seen, you know, too drunk or you know, or people know that you're being drinking mm-hmm. too much. Okay. Mm-hmm. The next one, Lamar. I mean, well, you said- La- Jamal, Jamal. Because I, I, I you just said, you found said out Lama? his name is Jamal, not Lamar. Jamal. Oh, I thought you said Lama. Okay, Jamal. Oh, yeah. His, okay, um, right. His brand is Lama J. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. So, yeah. Um, What's positive about <laughs> Mr. Jamal? Uh, Jamal, I would say, um, and it's not no shade. I'm just trying to find one. I'm trying to find it. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Oh, child. What's time we got? All right. Um, a little fun shade, but, um, I would say that, uh, he's very, he, 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 he's willing to help. I would say that because when I was talking about my, about the LLC and stuff like that, he was definitely willing to help me with that. So I would say he's definitely willing to help. He's willing to help. Okay. Okay. Good. One sour. Um. He shows signs of straddling the fence. Like a fence straddler, mm-hmm. you know. Um, he shows signs of just. I would say straddling the fence. I don't want. I want to call people a uh, two faced, but you know, because that could be a little harsher. But sometimes people might not know how to make a decision or might not know how to react in the moment. So it's like, as far as you being the eldest on the get the um the cast, um, I don't think you should be straddling fences you know <clears throat> if that makes yeah, sense most, most definitely he shows signs you know. of, but that can turn into later things where it's like you know you say this thing to one person and then you go back and do this thing yeah. then that's when I'll let the wolves have you you know mm-hmm. it's like pick, pick a, just pick a link just pick that just yeah. go over here and, and yeah, do or, something different. Yes, actually, I want you to. I want you to be more stern with uh, with what you're trying to do. You know, mm-hmm. pick pick a lane, mm-hmm. pick a lane, and pick be a lane yourself. And, stick to it. and be mm-hmm. yourself. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. That was very um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Mm-hmm. Now we well, have another game. Oh yes. I'm now ready. this. Game is very popular. Okay. I think you would know it. <laughs> fuck, marry, kill. Okay. Who would you fuck, marry, kill on Miami edition? Okay. Um. Fuck, marry, kill. I would. Oh. Okay. I would let Jamarcus have a golden slice. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I will let him have a golden slice. Um, marrying, I would marry Bam because I feel like if I want an, like, like, yeah, he understands me. He ain't going just, you know, he understands me. I feel like I can get a nice ring out of Bam. He gonna give me the rock out of everybody's <laughs> head. And um, child, we gonna we gonna go ahead and kill Lama. I mean, no, Lamaj. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> well, this that's all for this interview. Um, any questions? Um, any um, any um, ending questions for you, or you have anything you want to get out um mm-hmm. to my viewers and to your viewers? Yes. So I want everybody to know the Golden Boy. Let me get close to you guys. Mm-hmm. I want everybody to know that um, I'm gonna bring and I'm gonna serve everything you want to bring. Um, I will be coming out with a, not only just wardrobe styling, but I will be coming out with my own line soon. I'm right now working on the logo. And uh, I'm not going to tell you guys the name because I got to get it trademarked and you're not snatching my coins up. 
So, um, okay. So uh, I will be getting the logo and getting my LLC for that. And I just hope that you guys just take a little dive in into getting to know the Golden Boy. And, you know, like, just have a good time. I won't judge you. With, you, know, you won't judge me. And I won't have to read you. That's a word. That's, that's a word. And that's on Bible. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Good. This interview <laughs> was amazing. I just want to say thank you to yes. Joe Bear. Yes. Yes. See, I, listen, I'm on point with this, okay? Joe Bear. <laughs> yes. Joe Bear. Thank you. Joe Bear. Okay. Yes. I got. Um, I actually got to retract that name back from some people. They can't get it right. So it's to go. It's the Golden Boy to them. You guys will see that coming soon. Mm, okay, we're gonna look forward to that. Yes. 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 So, <laughs> thank you, um, Jovia, and um, Golden Boy to me. Yes. I really, really like that name. I really, really thank like that. You. That's a. That's a very, very special and amazing name and, right there. And I just hope it fits. And you're gonna no, love it. You wanna like the line name it too. Does. Huh? You're gonna like the name of my line as well. It's gonna get goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, long as they're like a shirt in a size two X, I will be purchasing. Okay. I'm gonna fuck right. <laughs> you already know. So um thank you. Thank you for no, um, thank being, you. It's been a pleasure uh, doing this interview. I really and you know what? Are you coming back to YouTube? Are you coming uh, back yeah, to I actually YouTube? gotta post two more videos. Okay, good, because I just subscribed to your channel, and okay. baby, love the content, love the content. It just needs work. That's what the, pl the, pl the like, that's what the, my platform is for. I got to bring people on in, you know? Yep. So, yeah. So, most definitely, um, thank you again for this interview. Yes, um, thank you. Guys, guys, please follow Jove, a.k.a. The okay. Golden Boy, at the underscore, under, the underscore, underscore. Yep. Golden Boy underscore one and follow his um YouTube channel. Yes. Follow his YouTube channel, the go I uh, no, not the Golden Boy, Golden Boy. Yeah. Follow his YouTube channel and follow me, the lovable asshole, the YouTube channel. Everything will be in the description below. Follow the lovable asshole underscore on Instagram. Follow my YouTube channel, the lovable asshole. And uh -huh. please stay tuned for the come up Miami. That's going to be airing July 22nd at what time, Golden Boy? 6.30. Oh, see, somebody told me different. Are you sure? Actually, I'm not sure. I got to check in on that. But I know it's 6.30, supposedly. Somebody told me 7. So we're going to keep with that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> premiere. Premiere is at, you know, when he started up. But my oh, bad. Oh. I'm sorry. I go in when, you know, when they do the countdown and stuff. Oh, I okay. got you. <laughs> I got you. See, I'm telling you. Get it yeah. ready. Mm -hmm. But yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. So, um, that is all. Please follow follow the Golden Boy on his YouTube channel, his Instagram. Um, tune in to see what more the Golden mm -hmm. Boy has for us coming on the season of the Come Up Miami. The Golden Boy, I'm ready. Out. I am ready. Yes, God. Yes. yes. I gotta tell you the name too. I'm excited to say the name of the brand too. But when this is, you know, down, I'll do it, you know, on the side. We're, listen, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back because mm -hmm. um, once the season um starts up, mm -hmm. me and you will be back. Me and you will talk. Well, I see, like I promise, absolutely. Most definitely. And guys, stay tuned for more interviews with some of the cast because I have. Listen, your boy has been doing it, okay? Once mm -hmm. once I got a hold of this and it's been going, and let's just say that people been seeing the videos. People has been seeing the videos. Yeah. And they want to come to your boy for an uh, interview. And I'm so excited to have the rest exclusive interview. Yes. Thank you for, for I got that you. assist. I got Thank you for that assist. I love you for that. So... The cast, the rest of the cast will, um, I don't know, um, it's already, it's already in, uh, and, uh, it's already rolling. Just know mm -hmm. that. And Time we have a newbie. Set. Huh? And we also have a newbie. 
And um, what tea do you have for me with that, Mr. Golden Boy? Let's just say um, we do have a newbie, and I think that uh, you guys really won't like him. He's gorgeous. And if he was in a lineup, <clears throat> well, he can't be at all respect of everything. He would be just a great addition. He does a form of artwork, too, as well, that everyone needs to get done. Shit, he might do mine, child. So um, I'll let you guys know that uh, we do are expecting a newbie. Ooh, I like that. Bring on the newbies. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, according to the trailer, some um, have less, less camera time. Oh. All right. So, you know. yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little, little, little dark eye throw. So. I'm just saying, just a little game. Just a little. We gotta get into that. We gotta get into who you think that is to the side team. Mm -hmm. But it's a little funny, sh all a little bit of fun over here. I'm mm -hmm. willing to. Uh, little fun shade. Little fun shade is the best shade. Yes, fun shade is the best. There's nothing malicious over here. I am the lovable asshole. I can be an asshole, but I'm also a lovable. <laughs> I never do anything out of hate and malice. Just know that. So thank you again, um, yeah, Golden Boy. It. You've been a spectacular um, interview. Uh, just I can't wait to see more of you. I can't wait to thank see more. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you guys see the growth. The come the come up starts now after the pandemic. So <laughs> we gotta fight for it. Okay. Good. Good. So um, bye, Golden Boy. Like bye, I can't guys. like. Oh my God, I can't wait for more and more. Tune in, y'all. Tune in um, July 2nd. Again, July 2nd at 6.30, 6.30, 7 p.m. 6.30, 7. 7, really 7. But just tune in for the most epic season, epic series, The mm. Come Up Miami. And you get to know all of the cast, which is Bam, Golden Boy, and others. And others. In <laughs> I know that's right. In so others. now we're gonna end it off here. Bye, go the boy. I can't wait to yes, see you again. Thank when, you so uh, much. This, yes, no problem. You know it's all love over here. Yes. You need me to promote something, I'm definitely gonna promote it. And by just first, let yes, me, just yes. give me the information, put it on my page, put it on my YouTube, put it on my um TikTok, my YouTube. I know that's everything, right, yes. child, everything, child. I yes. promote black. Business, business, sis. Thank you. Sis. Come on now. Yes. So, um, yes. So, again, follow uh, The Golden Boy mm -hmm. on Instagram and YouTube. Again, that's uh, The underscore, underscore Golden, Golden Boy, Boy underscore one. Why? And yes. his YouTube channel is Golden, Golden Boy. Boy. And, guys, that's all. Sign up. Bye. Bye, Golden Boy. Bye. Bye, everybody, to my viewers. Yes.